Alright, so what's up guys, um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to make a Gore Engine real quick, and, uh, yeah. Okay, so, first of all, you have folder and replicate storage, and you need another folder inside there, you need two of these. Just gonna name them real quick. We got Gibbs, and we need modules. And then, so I, and this folder would just be named Gore, I guess, I don't know. And then we're gonna put one in the workspace. And here we'll um, move all that, and this will be debris, debris, yeah, debris. And there we go. And then uh, crap. Okay, so now I need to add some gibs. I'm just gonna paste some gibs I made earlier. Well, I guess not. Uh, says I can't paste them. Weird. All right. Well, I just like we'll just pretend there's gibs for now. I just make like little. Oh, thingy doodles here. What is wrong with this? Stop making me move two studs at a time. Okay. Sorry. How I'd use, uh, how I'd usually, um, you know, order it or not order it, but format it is you have a rig, right? And you remove everything out of it except for the basic limbs here. And you just do that, right? And you have this. And inside these, you take everything out. And you put, like, the gib model inside of this. And then weld it to that arm. And then use that in the script. And I'll show you how I do that. Hold on. Oh, crap. I gotta remove. Alright. So, now we have this. Let's gonna make some gibs real quick. Got lag. Oh, I got invited to a party on Xbox. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, we have that. Actually, I'm just going to insert some gibs in the toolbox because I don't feel like making gibs right now. Uh, a lot of junk here. Um, oops. We'll borrow these for now. So in here, I'm just going to grab this. Very right, cool. Alright, um, this will be our arm and leg model. I don't feel like I need to change it out. It's already kind of there. You just position it inside of there. Put that in the left arm. Yeah. Make this transparent. So boom, we have our thing. I name it skin, so we know to. Well, actually, we don't color it because it's not. It's just red. All right, whatever. There's that, and then we do um that for every single one of them. Now, normally you do shirt support and stuff, but I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm just doing this real quick. Hold up. Um. Yeah, that seems right. Move left leg and blah blah blah. I don't really care about it being perfect, I just want it to work. My mouse is a little glitchy. Okay, um. Move head. Drag the head over here. Put that inside of head. Oops. There we go. Then I just insert a bunch of weld constraints. I forgot about left leg. I think I actually, yeah, I accidentally put the left leg in there. And then just boom, boom. I'll make the rest of them named skin in a minute. I just gotta. I'm not the best at tutorials. I'm kind of kind of bad. Um, um, last but not least, um, all these skins. I thought I named one skin before. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so now we have all those. We can delete torso because we're not going to use it. We're not going to do torso gore in this video. So now that we have all of that. We can just slap that in the Gibbs. Why is it not showing up? 
weird. Stop that in the Gibbs. Where'd the rest of them go? Xbox Studio has been glitching out recently for me. Anyways, we have our Gibbs now. Okay. Now, for the scripting part, so we put our module, we put a module script inside the modules, obviously. Name that handler, whatever you want to name it. I just name it that because it sounds cool. I know we need some variables. So local, uh, replicated, in case, equals game, get service, replicated storage. Local, uh, assets, equals replicated. Dot your local Gibbs. So Gibbs equals assets dot Gibbs. I just put a few. I just put a few things here. Local Gibbs. Local. Yeah. I need more. I need a few more variables up here. Okay. Local collection service. Close a game and get service. Ooh. Get service. Collection service. Uh, if you don't know what collection service is, basically it just adds like a tag, whatever, to part or instance in general. And it'll just like, you know, it's kind of like an indicator. Whatever. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, um, function mod ooh, module dot gib. I'm gonna leave that there for now. So now we need some functions. So function shirt, I guess we'll call it. Let's so already the shirt support. Um we need part and gib. Just in case we put base part here. Okay, and then down here we put the and then next we put okay, so if string dot find um part dot name and here we put arm then and then we do else if string dot find part dot name leg boom and here what we do is um uh part um, we need char as a thing for the character. Um, okay, there we go. Um, and then we do char find the first shot of class shirt. Um, gib find first child. Or actually, wait for child. I don't know what difference of those where they are. I'm not the best scripter. Okay. In dot find first child prep a shirt dot texture equals uh dot shirt template. Okay, there we go. And then we copy this. Add it here. Then we do ant 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 template. There we go. That should be. Oh wait, no, we need to keep that the same. It's gonna be like a general thing. Okay, so that yeah, that's how you do shirt support. I'm not gonna use this, but I guess that's how you do it. I don't know if that really works. It's just like what I usually do. Um, sometimes it does work. I don't know. I mean, it always works for me. I just, I don't know if this spe specific way of doing it will work because I, I don't memorize everything I do. Anyways, now we need part, base part, and we need star model. Okay. And here we're going to do, um, if collection service as tag part and then gibbs return or oops else uh 
collection service add tag part give done and this is where it gets interesting so we need a, another module in here called utilities insert from file i'm just going to type it in i'll link this in the description utilities boom okay now we put up here local utils equals require script dot utilities boom okay and then that's just for uh, later okay so part dot transparency equals one obviously and gib equals okay so here's where it gets interesting we need to do gib and then find first child and then here we do part dot name so it finds the gib that's named after the part so it assigns the right gib to the you know limb okay cool uh then we do gib dot c frame all right yeah why that doesn't show up give that c frame equals part dot that thing part dot c frame and then give dot parent equals part utils dot weld uh give part and the parent will be part yeah okay i think that's how i do it you see collection service add tag blah 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 part of transparency equals one blah it seems correct i guess it's just gonna be a basic thing i'm not gonna show you guys like how to make a fully fledged door system i probably need to set it to r6 that would be a good idea uh it sounds like a good idea to me save it to roblox turn the team create off I'm not going to be using this later. Uh, avatar R6 save. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, play. I'm going to test this out, and then that should be about it, I think. I don't know why some of my avatar things won't load. Sometimes Roblox is just completely broken. Fire, game, type replicated storage, dot door. What does that mean? Did not fetch like Roblox is completely broken. I swear, I swear it's a new update. Let's do this. Okay, and then gib and then workspace dot three py seven dot that's on. Oh well, that worked. I'm, it's anchored, so that's a problem. But yeah, you get the idea. It's just kind of like it's just replacing the limb with another thingy. Now, if you want to get a little more advanced and you don't, and you want to like do it when you like hit somebody with a weapon or something, uh, you might have to do a few things. So, and part dot name. Oops doesn't equal torso or or actually and copy this again humanoid root part boom and then yeah that's basically how you do it and up here you'd type the shirt thing in here if you had like a shirt supported gibbs you do shirt and your part would be obviously part char and then third part gib and then char yeah you, you get it so you, that's how you do it so anyways uh thanks for watching i guess uh, i'll see you guys next time bye